We got midnight forest water tank systems. We got all kinds of step 22 gear that came in today. We got action tracks recovery boards and all these pieces and rails because today we're gonna go over all this cool shit and we're installing this extrusions bed rack on the trail walls. All right, we got a lot of stuff to get done in this video. So I'm gonna try to, uh, or at least as, as I can be, you know, brevity is not my strong point. This is another addition in our build out and our competition we have going with Taylor from Best Damn EDC to see who can build the best overland rig this year. Some of the stuff in this video is not only for people that are in overlanding and whatnot, but honestly, it, just if you wanna kinda outfit your truck for EDC, a lot of the Step 22 stuff we're gonna go over is very uh, utilitarian for a lot of just truck organization purposes. The same for the rack, uh, for that matter. This stuff is very overland centric, but it doesn't need to be strictly for camping and overlanding. These racks are super handy for a lot of different stuff. Even if you're not in overlanding, stay tuned. I think you'll dig most of the shit in this video. For full disclosure, because I always like to be as transparent as possible with you guys, none of the companies in today's video are sponsoring this video per se. Extrusions, nor Midnight Forest, Step 22, none of those guys have paid me one red cent for this video. Extrusions did give me a nice discount on the rack for doing uh, some content on it. The other stuff was sent out free for review. Just so you guys know what the relationships are with all the stuff in this video, you do with that information as you will. But as always, I'm gonna be honest and tell you what I think. Action tracks, I forgot to mention those. We also got the action tracks recovery boards. Those actually I paid for full out of pocket. I never got a hold of those people. No affiliations with that company whatsoever. So the action tracks are gonna be installed on this. The Midnight Forest water system is going to be installed on this so we're going to do this part first if you're not familiar with extrusions overland really cool company cool people over there they do a bunch of stuff in the overlanding space their site is kind of a hub for a lot of other companies because they sell a lot of overland products they sell awnings and all kinds of stuff but their main gig their main squeeze are these extrusions overland racks that they build for the back of trucks and the reason i decided to go with them and the reason i think they're one of the coolest racks out there is they are made from this extruded aluminum rails. The whole rack is made of these things, which gives you surfaces and channels on basically every surface of the rack to do kind of what you want. Probably the most modular rack I've seen to date. They make them for just about any truck. You can not only buy pre designed sizes and shapes, but you can build your own rack with different heights, different sizes. They'll cut these things to length for you. So however high you want the rack, however low you want the rack. Look on their website, people have built some crazy shit. You can put sliders on these things to slide stuff out of the back to make it easier to get to. Lift gate, so one side of the rack actually lifts open, which makes it easier to get into the bed of the truck. I saw one video, they had like a hammock rack that pulled out, had a hammock hanging on the day. I mean, the most versatile modular rack I was able to find. And it's all super heavy duty, really nice powder coat. We'll see more as we go along with the install. That is what Extrusions does. That's why I chose to go with these guys. All right, well, let's take a quick break right there and take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Factor. If you're not familiar, Factor makes it easy to meet your nutritional goals by delivering fresh, never frozen meals right to your door. All dietitian approved and created by a team of gourmet chefs using quality ingredients to keep you feeling your best. Each week, there are over 35 different options to choose from and you can pick your dietary preferences. You got stuff like Keto, Protein Plus, Calorie Smart, and that's just to name a few. You can also pick how many meals a week you get depending on your needs. You could skip a week, which is nice. They have add-on like wellness shots, smoothies, protein shakes, snacks, all kinds of good stuff. It's definitely a quick and easy option that you can feel good about and cheaper, way cheaper than eating out. What I've really loved about Factor is it is flexible. Some weeks we may need more meals than others depending on what we have going on. I really like to use these for days when I'm super busy, like today and I'm doing this build all day long and I don't really have time to do a lot of cooking. And even with as much as I love to cook, I just don't have time because a lot of my days are very busy. So it's it's nice to have something really quick and easy to grab that I can feel good about. It comes in especially clutch on days when Allison works because then I'm stuck here by myself playing Mr. Mom, doing business stuff and all this stuff. It comes in really handy on those days. She also really likes to take these 
to work with her on days that she works because it's just a really easy, ready to go meal without her having to think about it. Factor was kind enough to offer you guys a great deal. Just head to factor75.com or click the link I'm gonna list down below. Use code Jeremy50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life. That's two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, don't forget factor75.com or click the link below. Use code Jeremy50 to get 50% off your factor box and free wellness shots for life. But let's get started. We got a lot to do. We have a whole bunch of screws and little sections like this that we have to basically rector set this thing together. That's what we're doing. Got the basic structure kind of down. This thing is really a big kid's erector set. And I think that's what helps make it so customizable. You can move these anywhere along, change them, add more, take some away. It makes for a little bit of a fiddly uh, installation the first time, because there's a lot of little nuts and bolts and stuff, but it's really well thought out. Perfect example, these little doohickeys. These are the, I don't know how you call them. It's what you screw into. These pop into the track and they slide right in and there's a little ball bearing in the back that pushes them and keeps them tight against here so you can easily thread into them, but still allows them to slide back and forth along this ball bearing anywhere on the track without having to like slide them in the end of the track or anything like that. Really well thought out. The stickers even came off. The thing, I, the one thing I was worried about is they had stickers on each one of these to let you know which pieces were which. And I was like, oh man, you guys know if you've watched this channel, I hate it when companies put stickers on shit and then they use the wrong fucking adhesive. And then you peel it, it rips and tears, and then you have to spend two hours cleaning shit. Those stickers, thank God, peeled right off. So all the stickers, I was like, uh, I'm gonna have to talk a little shit. They're stickers and I know this shit's not gonna come off cleanly, <laughs> but strangely enough, they did. No complaints there either. So far, so good. This is the side the lift gate's gonna go on. Gotta figure out how the hell that all works. That's gonna take some adjustment. A couple finishing pieces, and we'll be moving right along. This isn't really a step-by-step -step install video, but this is worth mentioning because I couldn't find directions on this anywhere. Directions on the rack itself are pretty good, but the uh, lift gate is the part I'm working on now. I couldn't find any directions. I figured I'd show you guys this. So when you're putting together the arm on the lift gate, you've got a situation here where you've got a bolt, looks like that, it's got a shoulder on it. You got this little black, some kind of plastic washer, and then you've got your standard metal washer. So I, this is a little trial and error on my part, but the only way I could find that made this work is you take your block here, got your arm here, put your black plastic washer on your bolt first, put that through your arm, put your metal washer on the back side of that in between the arm and the block itself. Just for any of you guys that are doing this maybe and you can't find instructions either. If you reverse them, it's actually too wide and it doesn't fit on the bar correctly. So maybe this will speed up your process, a little less trial and error, bolt, black washer, arm, metal washer, screw into the block. Maybe that'll. got it all knocked out and put on the truck. And then I was gonna back the truck into the garage so we could put all the stuff on in there so I was out of the sun or the rain. Before, I could at least back the bed of the truck in, but now with the rack, even the bed of the truck does not fit. From now on, all work will be done in the driveway, unfortunately, but you gotta pay the cost to be the boss. You know what I'm saying? This is the extrusions rack and we're not done. I still want to, I'm gonna, I got a slide out. We're gonna install on this side that I've got in the garage. I have not tightened these Molly panels down yet. 
because uh, depending on where the tank and stuff lands, we might have to slide those around. But that's part of the beauty of this system is with these tracks and these molly panels on the side, endless amounts of different kind of stuff you can do. You can really mount anything however you want. Any of these bars have channels in them, backs. I mean, you can really just install stuff all over the damn place. It's pretty damn awesome. This side is the side we installed the lift gate. So you just pull that up. That lifts that guy up so you can get into the back of the bed. It's kind of tough for me actually because the truck's pretty tall so I can't really get much in here. But nevertheless, it does give you the ability to get in there if you need to. And then you just reach up, grab it down, close it right down. I think I'm gonna put my action tracks on this side. I'm thinking it looks pretty badass. I'm pretty pumped with the way it turned out. Look at that thing. Thing looks tough. Looks way better than having a hot dog food truck in the back of your bed. I'm just saying, <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> See, sun, this is what I'm talking about. I know for some of you that doesn't matter, but in Florida, the sun is 90,000 degrees and sun burns you in like 30 minutes. So, <laughs> fuck the sun. By the way, I don't know if I said it, but this is a 19 inch height. I went with 19 because I wanted it basically flush with the back of my truck, just a little bit down from the bed. I didn't want it sticking up above, that'd be weird. And I didn't want it too low because I wanted to be still to be able to crawl up in the bed of my truck if I needed to get something out. You run into that a lot with like these mid height racks. You really can't get in the bed of your truck anymore or really haul much in it. Still got a lot of shit to do in this video though. So let's get moving. All right, next we are going to install this midnight forest rain basin water system. Say that on there. Yeah, it is. Midnight forest. Can you see that? Right there. I know a lot of people use roto packs for water, different solutions for water. This is I think the coolest one I've seen. A, it's black. Obviously, I like black. It's really cool. It's got, it has a mount for you to mount it to your truck, which is nice. It's got brass fittings here for you to hook hoses to. There's a whole nother system. And when I do a full review on this thing at some point down the road, I'll go into all of it in detail, but there's a hose system you can hook up to it. It's got two different areas for you to add water or drain water, depending on, you know, which orientation you're in. It's got handles all the way around it. What's really cool, there's a thing right here you can open up. And this area is angled down to this. So what that's meant for is you can lay this flat and you can actually collect rainwater. So if you had this up on like the top of your rack, on top of your truck or wherever, even on the ground somewhere, you lay this out during a rainstorm and it's actually gonna collect water and put it in here for you. So it's a water collection device. It's a water storage device. It mounts directly to your truck. It's got a spigot. It's just pretty awesome. This is the four gallon version. They also make, I think a smaller version and I know they make an eight gallon version. They did not have any of the eight gallon ones in stock at the time. He's supposed to send me an eight gallon one down the road when they get back in stock. I'm probably gonna put the four on the side and maybe mount the eight gallon one on my roof rack when I get it because I'm getting a roof rack down the road. Once I get both of them, get everything completely installed. Like I said, we're gonna do a full review on these things and really go over them. But I did wanna at least mention them because I think they're pretty badass. And that's the next thing we're gonna mount on the extrusions bed rack. So, let's go. Well, I gotta say, I'm a big fan. It's nice and low profile. I mean, it obviously sticks out some, but it, you know, it's four gallons of water. It's got your spigot over here. It's got two different areas you can open up to drain and or add water to it. It's got the lock on here so nobody can steal your shit. Obviously, like I said, I haven't used it yet. I don't want to give like a full review until I've actually used it. But uh, first impressions, I like it way better than like a roto packs. Roto packs for gas are fine, but they make roto packs for gas and for water. This has, in my opinion, way more functionality with the ability to catch rain, the spigot on it that's got the basically faucet on it. I think it looks better. And you can get these in four and eight gallon, which they don't make roto packs that big. So I don't know, man. Like I said, this is kind of a first look. I haven't used it yet, but thus far, super impressed. Not impressed with the cigar, however. Look, look at that. It's falling apart. Don't you hate it when your cigars like blow up? Anyway, next up, action tracks.
the reason I decided to go with Action Tracks over some of the other brands is A, they're made in the USA. They're made of some special polymer, DuPont, high speed, low drag, secret squirrel shit. A lot of the other tests I saw from other other tracks, depending on the temperature, depending on how far you bent them, they could crack and break. These things are just about damn indestructible. They're good for up to, I mean, like the weight of military vehicles. No weight that I'm gonna ever have in this truck is gonna come close to being too much to blow those things out. Plus the actual lugs or traction points on the boards are not all plastic. The ones on the ends, which is where you're really trying to grip when you're trying to first pull yourself out of being stuck are stainless steel bolts they've put through there. Those are the main ones you tend to burn off if you get a little slippage and then it tears up your tracks. Those are all metal. You're not going to tear those damn things up. So they're probably going to last a lot longer and they're much less expensive, strangely enough. A lot of times you get something made in the USA, it's more, but these are actually cheaper than some of the other brands out there. What's the brand? I got to look up the brand now. Max Tracks. Max Tracks is the company I'm thinking of. The holes for mounting them are actually the exact same as the holes in Max Tracks. So you can use the Max Tracks mounting pins or whatever you want to call them, which I really like because you can hold either two or four recovery boards and they're lockable. So nobody, again, steals your shit. Comment down below if you particularly want more details on any of the stuff we went over today and I'll try to prioritize those videos for uh, full reviews. This was more of just a quick look at all of it and putting it all in the truck and moving this build forward. Let me know below. But we do have one more thing to kind of run through real quick and that's the Step 22 gear that came in today. Some of it is already in the truck, but the stuff that I have out that I can show you guys here is this guy. And I'll list all the names as we go through them because I can't remember the names of all these individual items. But this guy is, you could probably use it for a lot of different things, but what I like about it is it unzips and then it folds down and you've got this kind of semi hard sided storage case. It's got pockets down here. It's got Molly up here for you to put stuff. And what I see them use this most for on the website and what I know I'm gonna use it for is all my kitchen gear. All my spatulas, my cooking forks and spoons and all that stuff can go down in here and keep it all nice and organized. These pockets are plenty big for spices and anything else you might need. Uh, it's got Molly back here so you can run a carabiner or a hook and hang this up on the side of your rig off one of your racks right next to where you're cooking. These are clear fronts so you can kind of see what's in them. Big, big fan. And then it closes up and you've got just one thing that has all your kitchen cooking shit, which is nice because I feel like organization is key when you got an overland rig and you've got a ton of shit. When you have that much stuff in your rig, if you don't have it kind of grouped together and organized and modular, then you're just gonna have shit everywhere and it's gonna be a nightmare. And it's black multicam. By far the most useless camo as far as actual functional camo, but it is also one of the most badass looking ones. I'm a big fan of the black multicam. Another little roll for your toiletries. This one's got, again, a little hook up here so you can hang it from your rig or hang it in your tent. Put your deodorant, your toothpaste, some soap, all your stuff that you might need toiletry-wise to keep your hygiene good when you're traveling or camping. Again, a system keeps all your stuff together and organized. Hang it up, easy access. It all rolls up, goes in this little pouch. It's got a nice little handle on it. Great organizational pods, I guess you would call them. They're just soft side, it's nylon, zip closed, and they're just meant for you to store gear in. And again, keep all your stuff organized, grouped together. Maybe you put all your fire equipment in one of these, like when you have big roam boxes or whatever kind of big storage containers you have in the bed of your truck, everything's not just thrown in there. You can itemize things, group things together, keep everything organized, reach in if you want to cooking gear you reach in you grab this out it's all together and it's not all just fucking scattered everywhere which is super nice so that is really cool and then we have a couple things that are already in the truck next is their tool roll which i really dig so it goes into this pouch rolls out super simple like that you've got detachable wrench roll so you can put all your wrenches 
in there. And that is all Velcroed in. The same with all these pouches. All these pouches, you can Velcro them out so that if you need to take them with you somewhere, you don't have to bring the whole roll, except for this last one. This last one is stitched in. But then you've got a clear front pouch that you can put various doodads in. I put my sockets and whatnot. Then you got another pouch here again plenty of space i put i split them up into metric and standard sockets but as you can see they're not even remotely close to full so you can fit a ton more stuff in this guy and then you get a couple little pouches up in here you can very easily roll this dude up goes down in that little bag section right there and nice little tool bag man i dig it Moving out. He's really not that slow. I mean, he's pretty slow. He's got little, little short legs. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> they are kind of funny watching him. Can you find the turtle in this shot? Yeah. Boop. There he is. <laughs> it's like the second turtle we've seen today. Today must be the day of turtles. Hey, buddy. What'd you go on your shelf for, dude? No? You wanna come out and say hi to the camera? Wanna say hi to the people? Nothing? No? All right, we'll leave you alone. All right, folks, that wraps up this edition of Whippin' Taylor's Ass in the Overland Build Competition. We've got going. Super happy with all the gear we added today. Obviously, I'll report back as we get a chance to use this stuff a little more, which is part of the reason why we're out here in the state forest today, getting a little time with the family. So far, really pleased with all of it. Links, as always, down below for everything if you guys are interested. We do, however, need to draw the winner from last week's giveaway. Last week, we were giving away a bottle of the new Bold Fortune Beard Oil re-release that we just had come out a little while ago. And the winner is Cigars ARs. What a great freaking screen name. Cigars AR says, could not agree more about going outside, love the truck build, and can't wait to see more of that. Well, buddy, here it is more of this. So hopefully you enjoyed this video too. Make sure you reach out to us. Go to the about tab on our YouTube page. There is our business email on there. Shoot us an email so we can get your shipping address and we will get your winnings sent out to you ASAP. For next week, let's do, um, we'll do a little bundle. We've got, uh, still got the Bold Fortune Beard Oil, still pretty fresh. So we'll give out a bottle of the Bold Fortune Beard Oil. We've also got Utility Balm. So send you either the oil or the balm, depending on which one you want. And we're dropping this week the new colorway of the bandanas we dropped a while ago. We're doing them in red this time. They're super awesome. So a little bundle, you'll get a bandana and either some beard oil or beard balm of your choice. Giveaway rules are as always, you gotta be a subscriber to both this channel and our second channel, Jeremy Stars After Hours. We do our live streams. There's gonna be some other content coming on that channel soon. You have to be a subscriber to our newsletter, which you can sign up down below. You gotta smash that like button. And then this week, let's do hashtag bold fortune, hashtag red bandana and we will draw a winner live in next week's upload as always you guys big thank you to all the guys that sent us free gear for this video big thank you to the sponsors of today's video factor so if you like what we're doing here make sure you support the folks that support us check out the links below if any of that stuff interests you give those guys a little love well that one wraps this up we're out here with the family today we're gonna go spend some time walk some trails get some ticks on us the dog's out here running around so we're gonna have a little outdoors time today as we mentioned in our last video spend a little time outside guys it's good for you hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did feel free to smash that like button that always helps us out if you're not a subscriber please consider doing so we'd love to have you on board hope everyone is having a fantastic week and we will see you in the next video